Okay, so here I am with Raj Day, who is O2 Young Entrepreneur of the Year and founder and CEO of uh, Internships. Now Raj, you work with a lot of uh, entrepreneurs and students yes. and kind of mentoring them in workshops and all the rest of it. And what do you find when you're kind of coaching them in terms of that whole journey from idea to market? Because I know, you know, your whole view on business planning is about taking ideas to market yeah, rapidly. Yeah, exactly. I think there's this notion that um, you have to have an elaborate business plan, these cash flow forecasts and projections, and um, there's, especially students and, and graduates who don't necessarily have much business experience, quite, sometimes can be quite hesitant to actually just get going. And so what I say is, look, you don't have to have all the answers from day one, especially if you've got an, an internet startup or a web-based business where the barriers to entry are very low, the startup costs are low, there's no harm in just doing it, learn by doing, iterate, get the product out there, get feedback from the market and find out what's working, what's not working. You can easily pull it back and refine the concept and, and introduce new features and, and, and learn as you go along really. So what I say to students and graduates is just get on with it, don't waste time. Now is the best time to be starting your own business, especially in the downturn and the recession where you might not have the, the corporate job that you've been looking, you thought you wanted to go into, why not turn towards entrepreneurship? And how does that philosophy resonate with your own experiences in setting up internships? I think you know, in terms of, did you have a long-term plan at all, or was it like you no, just had I, a plan to launch it? Well, the thing is, uh, the concept of internships really came about when I was studying at university. Um, I used to run Oxford Entrepreneurs, which is a society of student entrepreneurs at uni, and startups and small businesses kept approaching me, wanting to reach out to talented students and graduates. So I set up a listing site. Um, and it wasn't intending to, to become a business at the end of it, but 200 companies put roles on that website, and then I realized after graduating, hang on, there's something here. But rather than think about, oh, let me now do a business plan, what I decided to do was, let's create a portal which actually goes beyond students at Oxford, can connect startups and SMEs around the world to students and graduates. And I'm, I'm learning as I go along what's working, what's not working. We're not currently charging companies, but I'm speaking to our customers and finding out, okay, do they value a service like internships? How much would they pay, if anything, to use a site like ours? Okay. And actually, I'm finding that other opportunities are coming my way, which I'd never foreseen. I couldn't have envisaged it happening if I had planned it in advance. So I think my philosophy is very much, as, as I mentioned, is just start doing it and opportunities will become clear and then you'll learn what works, what doesn't work, where the market opportunity is. Um, and yes, having some form of plan is good, but you just have to be open-minded to always adapt and change to the changing circumstances. That's awesome. Thanks a lot. Great.